Uh, at that time, the men of the university had the faculty club. They had a little clubhouse, which is now gone, and they had a club which met once a month, and it was the men's faculty club. And you could, women faculty Women club. were not, mm -hmm. uh, the, the fact there were rules were by, drawn up in such a way that women were excluded. There was a reason for it, it started out as an athletic club and gradually had become a faculty club. So it was a men's faculty club. And their wives then organized the women's faculty club. A funny title. <laughs> they were not women uh, who had any academic they standing. Were not they were wives. Faculty. Yes. And we, of course, uh, secretly always called it the wives club. Yes. <laughs> but the, the faculty women's club, uh -huh. uh, it's still going as far as I know, and they used to make overtures every uh, year. They'd send us an invitation to come. But they had music and uh, uh, social affairs, dances, and, and the kinds of things that faculty wives are interested in, mm -hmm. but not the academic kind of things that we were. That you were interested in, yes. So I rarely attended any of their affairs. Yeah. What was your relationship uh, as a group with the male faculty? Uh, was it just more or less non-existent, or uh, do you remember? No, there was a little uh, subtle pressure put on the men about, uh, well, after all, you know, we do have women in the faculty group, and uh, we are interested in academic things. So the men began having bad conscience, and they had meetings and meetings, and one of them threatened to resign if they took the women in, and they, some of the others said, all right, go ahead and resign. We're going to take the women in. Into and, the club. In, yes, right? into the club. <laughs> so finally, they invited us over one evening to their men's faculty club as a group. Uh -huh. So we went over and attended their program and were introduced. Uh, all, all each of us scattered around over the room were mm -hmm. introduced as members of the women of the faculty we told, I think, a little about what we were doing. At any rate, after that, they changed the name to the Stanford University Faculty Club. Uh -huh. was there was no more distinction. Although the women, uh, the women's faculty club never discovered this. They've gone on being the women's faculty <laughs> club. <laughs> I think, let's see, what do they call themselves now? Yeah, the faculty women's, mm -hmm. I think, faculty women's group or something like that. Cause I, At any rate, they went ahead on the same little even tenor, being completely unaware that there'd been this real, change. real change. Did you start meeting then? Then we went regularly to their meetings, and of course there were so many of us that the little faculty club was uh, was already getting too small, and it was about to fall apart, and so the university and took it over, I think the Navy had it for a while, and then it burned down. And we went to meeting as a, fa as a Stanford faculty club. We went to meeting over in the women's clubhouse, the, uh, the stand that's now over in the, is it still there? I think so, near the, the old union. Uh, yes, the old union building. And we met in the main old union dining room. Wow. And uh, once in a while they had women speakers, but mostly it was men who were speaking. But there was one time we had a, the whole program was the women speak, and different ones of the uh, women who were there uh, talked about the work in their field. I see. And <coughs> I think the Hazel Hansen spoke that time, and Lois Stoltz. The men went away feeling that, well, after all, these women do have something to say. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.